All right, Black Tree TV, I have a special, special treat for you today because I know you guys are used to me being on the red carpet, talking to all the entertainers, but today we're about to talk about that business. I'm about to show you somebody that could talk to you about entrepreneurship, chasing those dreams, and how to succeed in this crazy world of business and the ultimate the ultimate dream chaser. We all talk about being rich by the time we're 30, but I'm sitting next to somebody that actually did it. How you doing, Freddie? Good, sir. How are you doing? And it's a it's an honor to be here with you. And, and I mean, I'm a little jealous because I wanted to be rich at 30, man. And I'm still chasing it. I know you're still chasing it, but I mean, just to hear parts of your story, it's it's inspirational. And I want to know more. And I know my viewers want to know more. So, can you tell us how did you get started? How did this figures wireless figures communication? How, where did it start? Did it start in your garage or? A dream? Uh, were you breaking down computers? Like, where, where did this all start? I started from the very beginning of my childhood. My father, at the age of eight years old, took me to Goodwill and bought me an old Macintosh for $25. At that time, the computer didn't work. Mm -hmm. So we took the computer home. I played with it about 10 to 15 times, took it apart, took some old components from my father's radio, put them inside the computer, and it worked. Wow. Wow, so you like the first genius bar for Apple, really? <laughs> well, you know, I, I had a passion for technology ever since I was a child, so uh, that passion drove that innovation. How did I, I mean, obviously, taking you to the Goodwill and getting that computer was a, was a great start, but how did uh, how did your family um, kind of feed that dream? How did, how did they continue to feed that dream and, and help you, like, chase this? Well, it goes back to my birth. Um, you know, honestly, I'm not even supposed to be here. When I was born, my biological mother threw me out like day-to-day -day trash, so I never met my biological family. My biological mother threw me away, and I was adopted by an older couple, which were the best parents in the world, that was going into their 70s. So when you think about parents, when you think about families going into their 70, year, 70 years old, they're thinking about grandkids and great-grandkids, not adopting a newborn baby. So my father was not physically able to take me outside to play football or baseball with me. So he wanted to keep me out of trouble, but he took me to go get that computer. And with that computer, that became my best friend, and that passion for technology drove and created to everything that we have today. I mean, it, chasing dreams is hard for everybody, whether they're doing athletics or in your, your, your case, business and technology. It must have got hard at some point and you wanted to quit. Like what 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 helped you to keep fueling that and keep going when things might not have been looking as promising as they are today? I've always looked at, you know, winners never quit and quitters never win. And it's been times that it's been very tough. For example, one of our first cell phone towers when I first began, I took all of my software income and built this cell phone tower, built this entire network infrastructure, and lightning hit it. Mm. And destroyed- like literally? Yeah. Literally destroyed nearly $800,000 worth of equipment. And um, during that time, insurance did not want to cover it. So I was out of the pocket over $800,000. Wow. And I literally had to rebuild my infrastructure in a very rural area. And in stating that, other carriers, such as the bigger names, they had the same problems, but since I was a very smaller and minority company, they, I was chastised the most. Wow. Wow. So, Cause you're, you're one of the only, if not the only black telecom, black owned telecom company in the US, I'm, I'm guessing, right? That is correct. So Figures Communication provides cellular service, mobile broadband service, and international calling services. Not only do we provide the cell phone service and all of the other services, but we manufacture consumer electronics such as earbuds, wireless speakers, televisions, and cell phones. So when you think about a carrier today, they only provide the cellular service they don't manufacture the hardware, so we capitalize on both ends from the service and the hardware peripheral, bringing those both together. What was it about telecom? Because, I mean, as a young scientist, young inventor, you could have got into biotech, renewable energies, so many other, like, uh, fields of science and technology you could have got into. Like, what was it about telecommunications that made you kind of pivot that direction? 
I come from a very rural area. So the area that I come from is where it was overlooked by the bigger telecommunications companies. So they was not interested in coming in, setting up a new infrastructure to build out. So we were able to petition that and apply for the FCC to provide and service those rules. And I'm, I'm curious because, I mean, as a young scientist, young inventor, you could have started in biotechnologies, renewable energy, um, so many different phases of uh, science and tech. What was it about telecommunications that made you decide to pivot in that direction? It's very simple. It goes back to my childhood. Everything that I've ever built has been to service people and technology to help others. The community that I'm from is very rural. And other carriers, such as the, the big name carriers, was not interested in servicing those smaller communities. And that gave us an opportunity to come in to petition and apply for an FCC spectrum license to service those underdeveloped areas. As as a only African American owned telecom, was there is there any, because I, I know that, you know, we see moguls like Byron Allen speak about uh, media and how there's not equal spending and fair fair spending. Was there anything that was allotted to you as, as a minority member to be able to get any type of head start in telecom since, there, since we weren't represented there? Was there? No. What really gave us the key advantage is to show that those rural areas was under service and they was undeveloped. Uh, again, you could go through nowhere USA and you wouldn't have cellular service. So that gave us the strength to petition and start our WiMAX company. So when we first started out, we started providing only data services. So point to multi-point connections. And in saying that, capitalizing, no, we bootstrapped everything from day one. I mean that that's a that's an amazing source. So, so tell me about your your core products, uh, uh, cell phones, uh, cellular service, and cell phones are, are definitely one of them. What's your other core products at Figures Wireless? We we have uh, signature Figures Wireless F buds, and the F buds are earbuds that have auto translation. I've had built in 96 languages inside of those devices. So when it's connected to the figures F3, if someone calls you speaking French, Spanish, it'll automatically translate into English. Okay, okay. That's amazing in itself. I, I travel a lot. Uh, I found myself uh, two months ago in uh, Sao Paulo, Brazil, and Portuguese is a real tough language to, to do a quick study on. So, I mean, that's amazing technology you'd be able to have a translator in your ear to kind of like get through it and we have several other products as well so we have a, uh, one of our signature wireless speakers that has ai technology that we're building out right now as a community forum so you can say hey figures order me a pizza hey figures what's the weather so the same as these other ai forms that you see at home we have our own and this wireless speaker is waterproof and it has ai charging capabilities as well these are some amazing. See, I'm a techie, so they got the wrong person on this interview because it's not like I don't know what he's talking about. All these things he's talking about, like, yo, that's, I mean, that's 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 the real deal. So, I mean, people are gonna gonna gonna. I know a lot of uh, people in in our community would would love to support, um, you know, a, a black owned cell phone. But what I mean, you you told me some of the things about the F, but but why? Would somebody put down their Samsung, put down their Google phone or or iPhone to pick up a Figures? Like, tell us about that device. What's cool? Our Figures phone is a signature product. So our Figures phone has capabilities such as multi-user profile. That means that I can actually hand you my phone, sign out, and sign into a guest profile. The average person has an iPhone or a Samsung. When they type in their password, I can go through their text messages, their pictures, all their personal con content. With a Figures phone, you have complete privacy, and it's two phones on one phone with dual SIM capabilities and 5G capabilities. And we also offer one terabit of storage, so you have unlimited photo space. Wow. 
I mean, how can I get me a figure's phone? I know y'all wondering. I know y'all wondering. I will, I will, I will plug y'all in before the end of this interview on how y'all can get down with this. But uh, I, so so how's how's the support been? Because I, I, I know like even recently uh, we was talking earlier that I, I, I spoke about a lot of the lack of support and support that, that black media gets, but some of the challenges that we get dealing with um, some of our, our own um, – celebrities like how has the support been from the business community there's there's black billionaires there's robert s smith bob johnson um dr dre who also uh made, made somebody off of earbuds how how has, has that community welcomed you at, at all uh, have you found any like inertia dealing with any of them or have, or have you just felt kind of solo honestly no there's have been any support and that was one reason why that we didn't seek investors. And I funded everything myself through software, peripheral, and other inventions that I sold previously. Um, it has been a challenge of getting the support uh, from our community. But again, it's a process. What happens when Sam's, because uh, you're the only black telecom company in, in America, but what happens when they you know one of these bigger one of these big mainstream companies that's that's been worldwide sees your um sees your technology and wants to buy into your technology is, is, and writes the big check i mean is, is it just is i mean what happens at that point or do we do you are you are you gonna sell this company at, at some point or no i i i believe in people over profit and I believe in keeping this as a passion. When I first did, when I first started Figures Communication, that was my passion. And I'm not gonna sell my passion. It's been multiple offers on the table from our healthcare company to the telecommunication space, but I haven't sold and I'm not planning on selling. Tell me about the supply chain, because I know, I, I know this, it's great to have this, these, these, these devices, but the components, are there are, are you able to find black manufacturers of the of the chips or the plastics or whatever components that you've been needing to to create these products correct so about 70 percent of our uh, supply chain that manufactures the f3 are minority owned corporations um about 50 percent about 50 percent of those are domestic 30 percent are international do you do you feel like uh Internationally, I mean, because the the continent of Africa is exploding with a lot of economic opportunities and technology. You feel like internationally, um, we get it more as a as a diaspora community overseas than we do here. As far as getting involved in in tech and stuff, is it something that you like to see more of our youth kind of gravitate to? Correct. So right now, uh, a little secret is we're planning on building an assembly facility in Ghana. Um, certain representatives from Ghana want to distribute our phones, one of our larger carriers there. But instead of building the phones here in the U.S. and exporting from the U.S. to Ghana, we're not going to bleed the company for country for their resources. So we're going to build an assembly plant there and assemble and manufacture the phones. So this is what I'm talking about. It, it's... it's I like where your head is. I mean, I love your products. What what you've told me about the products is amazing. But I like like how how it seems like you put a lot of thought into this whole movement of what uh, if, if if you don't mind me calling it a movement right. you know, of, of what what you're doing with these products and and moving forward. Um, how could just as a community outside of your company, how could we be better as a community? Just of fostering economic empowerment within our community it's about supporting each other the 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 best way to help someone the best way to reach your potential is to help someone else reach their potential and it's all about community support i mean we have other ethnicities that support each other and become a billion dollar company overnight some in our community have achieved that goal, but others haven't. So, again, it's about coming together and working together. You, you have you got to tell me the story behind this shoe because I'm looking at a, a dirty Nike back there, and I'm like, I'm looking at all these great products out here. And I'm like, why is this Nike back here? So what's the story behind this tennis shoe right here? So, my father had dementia, Alzheimer's, and some mornings he would start sundowning. So. 
in his normal state, he couldn't walk from here to the door. But when he was sundowning, he would walk for 10, 12 miles. And some days he would forget to put on his shirt, his pants. He would just leave home and say, hey, I'm going away from my dad. I had to be able to figure out a solution to protect my father. And that's when I came up with the chipset to put inside of his shoe because he never forgot to put on his shoes. So this chipset that I built has capa GPS capabilities. So as soon as he wanders off, I can see how many steps he's taken. I can see exactly if he's standing up or sitting down. I can see exactly where he is. With the GPS capabilities, I put a 90 hertz speaker inside of the shoe and a um, microphone chipset. So I could say, I could come in on my phone and say, hey dad, where are you? And he would say, hey, where are you? I would say, just dad, just talking to your shoe. As soon as he speaks into his shoe, it would automatically pop up on my phone and I could see exactly where he is, jump in the car, go pick him up, take him back home. This shoe right here, this invention behind this, the patent that I own was the precursors of life alert and smart dog collars, mm -hmm. such as medical alert response systems. Yeah, I was thinking that when you said, I was like, man, that sounds like sounds like what 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 Life Alert would would do. Correct. So, are are they using this product now in in, in shoes? Or in that is correct. So they're using they're using that product right now into their own dynamic system. So such as wristbands, watches, and neck bracelets. Okay. Okay. So th th where where does this come in on your invention level? Like, when did you? do this invention compared to when you started the telecom? Was this early on or? Yes, and this is when I was turning 18 years old. Wow. So, so with all this knowledge of science and everything, I mean, I mean, what was the, what did, what was the education? Did you, did you go to college for this? And I'm like, how did you perfect this? Did, did you enroll in college for this? I sat inside of a classroom for about two weeks and I listened to a professor teach about things that I already knew. Because again, I've had work experience. So that day-to-day -day experience, ever since I was the age of eight, all the way up to 16 years old, from being a computer technician, network administrator, software engineer, to starting Figures Communication, I listened to things that he had already, he was teaching us that I already knew. And then I had an opportunity to build a software program to complete within 16 days for a lucrative amount of money. So then that drove me into the private sector, and I never went back to school. You're in good company if you look at Jobs and Gates and Zuckerberg and all the multi-billion dollar moguls that seem like they they cut out of school early, which is not a message for all of you guys to cut out of school early, but you know, you gotta know when what your, what your path right. is and what, when, right. when it's your time and everything. Everyone has a destiny and everyone has a path that they can go on, and I'm, Edu sitting in a classroom wasn't for me, but again, we don't we don't tell anyone not to go to school. We have the Figures Foundation that have supported over thirty plus young African American men to go to just go to school with different scholarship opportunities. So, how long have you been in business now? You're thirty. How long has Figures uh, Communications been uh, been the umbrella official umbrella company? Yeah, right. Figures Communication started out in 2008, but didn't get established and started until actually 2011. So you almost, you, you headed towards that 10 year anniversary of Figures Communications. That is correct. Is there, are there, I'm, I'm sure you might not even be able to tell me, but are there other products on the horizon that you're like, you know, ready to launch that you haven't even uh, spoke about yet? Correct. So we have several different other innovative lines, such as um, our blood um, diabetic management system. We have a visual diabetic diabetes system, and this is it right here. So this is a blood glucometer. As soon as you check your blood sugar, it instantly shares the results to your cell phone, shares it with your closest relative, shares it in electronic health records, and shares it with your doctor. So if your blood, if you know anyone with diabetes and their blood sugar spiked or abnormally low, it would automatically send an Amber Alert notification to everyone that's on that list. Also, it would also uh, drive the provider to pick up the phone to call you. If he, if he, if the doctor calls you and you don't answer the phone, that's not a problem. 
The same technology I put into my father's shoe, I put inside this glucometer, which has a direct connection to a communicator. So the doctor then would come in and say, hey, I need to schedule an appointment. You would answer your glucometer and say, okay. Then a five-digit code before the session ends, a five-digit code would appear on the glucometer. The doctor then would ask the patient to read them that verification code. Once they enter that verification code in their system, it verifies with the provider that they did speak with the patient. So keeping the patient and the provider intact. It's another amazing product. I, I, I just wonder how did you get so well rounded? Because these products don't necessarily, I mean, I, I, I hear what you say, like the, the device and the communication goes back to the shoe, but it's not exactly what the earbud is like. All your all your your products seem to have like they're they're diverse in technology. Right. Every product that we have designed, implemented, and manufactured have been for a cause. Again, I've been building technology since I was a child, and it's always been about servicing people and creating affordable technology. Every device that we have is one of the most technologically advanced devices, and all for the most affordable price. How many different? Uh, you have a TV also, a smart TV. Um, um, with, with all the other stuff, I, I, it should probably be labeled the smartest TV compared with all this other stuff you're doing. Um, what what's what's uh, unique about the TV? So our television is 4K UHD. It ha- the the clarity and the sharpness of this television is sharper than any television that's on the market right now. So that means that you could see a football player sweat from our television. And our television has a prolithium chipset that's built inside. And what that means is every home that you have a cable service provider, that HDMI receiver box, we have that built inside of our television. So when you get a figures TV, you can actually pop it out the box, plug it up, type in your zip code on the television, and you've got local access channels right then and there. Again, I know technology. You guys know I know technology. I'm a biomedical engineer right here. I know what this guy is talking about. He is amazing. These products is, I mean, I need to get a whole, I, I need to save up some paychecks. I know it's affordable, but it's not free, and I need to get me some figure stuff ASAP. I mean, t- so I, this, this is not in all the stores yet. So are you doing most of your sales, most of your sales online or in person or, how, or what's your distribution? Majority of our distribution is e-commerce, so it's, everything is online. If you order today, you'll get it within two to three days. Now, with that being said, we're not looking for major retailers because, again, we would have to change our marketing pattern and our strategy. We believe in keeping products affordable and keeping them for the people. Again, other companies and competitors have lesser quality products but they're much more expensive. And the reason because they have to return shareholders investment. With Figures Communication, we don't have shareholders. So we manufacture the product and deliver it to your front door at an affordable price. And all of our products, we have financing options available as well. How can, how can uh, now I've, I know that there's a lot of like on Facebook groups, there's a lot of black, uh, entrepreneurs and um, all, t- all these type of investment groups. How could the the business community or how could some of these entrepreneurs get involved with figures or, or can they get involved with figures at this time in, 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 this, in that way? Of course, I would encourage everyone to support us even from bulk ordering, from corporate ordering to even um, resellers that we have. Um, right now, getting investments, we're we don't know what the future holds, but as of right now, no, we're not seeking any investors. Everybody can find us at, it's, it's at figureswireless.com. Is that the hub? It's, it's figures.com. That's F-I-G-G-E-R-S.com. And uh, and you said I, I got about earbuds coming in the, in the mail, right? <laughs> we got you. <laughs> All right. So every, your corporate headquarters is in Florida. Correct. And um, if, if any, if there's any, like, young students young scientists entrepreneurs that may want to like get involved with on the tech side like is there a way for them to reach out to you on the website or the 
Of course, we have a Think Tank initiative, and that's at thefiguresfoundation.org. I hope you're all taking all of these notes, figuresfoundation.org, figures.com. Get the get the F buzz, get the TV, get the glucometer for for all all of your seniors in your family and people that's dealing with those health issues. Get the phones, put down the iPhones. You know the iPhone ten seven eight nine six is the same darn phone. We just keep on spending the same money, and it's not getting recycled through our community. They're not hiring us. I mean, you looked in. This is this is one thing that bothered me. We're on Facebook more than anybody. We're on YouTube, and you go to these companies, and Facebook has uh, two point seven percent black employment at uh, black employment, and uh, Google uh, Alphabet company has two point four. I might be off by a point to it, but I'm not off by a number. And and we do so much in technology, but we don't reap the benefits. So it's, uh, I'm I'm so glad to see. You brother, like reaping the benefits of technology and leading the way for innovation to give some of these people a dream. Because just like we didn't know, or we 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 didn't often dream of being a president or something like that before we seen it in the flesh happen with Barack. You're showing people that it's doable that you can have an eight hundred thousand dollar tower. People, to, you lost eight hundred thousand dollar tower. People, you know, just mad because they lost their phone. You know what I'm saying? So so you're doing it big, and I'm I'm, I'm so happy that you're inspiring people you know you're inspiring me thank you and that's what we that's what we do the best thing for any other any human being to inspire another and what we're setting up is to become producers even from abroad such as ghana it, it would be so simple for us just to send products there and distribute them but we want to be economic we want to economically empower the locals to actually learn a trade to assemble and manufacture and distribute from there. This is this is the future of technology. I hope you're all taking note. This goes back to all of you guys that, that watched and retweeted and shared the video about the experience on the carpet. This is the same thing. We have to support each other on every level. And when I said it was a multifaceted problem, it goes down to this. It's like how 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 real how how real is your wokeness? Like, how? I mean, what are we just talking on Twitter? Are we going to really be about it? Are we going to go on Black Friday and spend all this money at their stores? Or are we going to figure out, figure out, uh, are, are we going to go to figures.com and, and, and start making that order to get the best TV on the market in your house for a lower price and be supporting our own community? This is what we got to do. And 20% of all our gross revenue goes to support the Figures Foundation that is multi-fascinated, such as supporting young African-American males that's at risk to go to college. Not a scholarship once, but a full ride. Breast cancer survivors supporting our community from different initiatives to even supporting a school in Zambia with 309 girls. So 20% of all of our gross revenue supports those organizations. And the bigger, the bigger operators and manufacturers, they don't give back. Nevertheless, not even pay it forward. Yeah, yeah. Well, you're showing us the way, brother. So, thank y'all for taking this business break with Black Tree TV and uh, Freddie Figures, and y'all just stay tuned for more. We we gonna we gonna keep on following this brother and keep you up to date. This is like. If this was Shark Tank and you get the update, when he dropped the new products, we're going to be hanging out. We're going to be showing you the products. And I'm going to be talking on my figures phone on the red carpet to people. So y'all just y'all stay tuned and um, y'all keep on, hey, keep on bringing up. We're going to keep on sharing with you and keep on inspiring. And we have one product that we're going to launch in the summer, which is a wireless inductive charger. So as soon as your figures phone gets five meters within range, it automatically starts charging. There's no cores. There's no cable. There's no anything. Leave your phone in your pocket, your purse. Wake up, your phone's fully charged. Cause y'all know my phone dead now. If y'all really know me, you know I'm telling the truth. Yo, thanks, bro. This Thank is you. it. <laughs>